Welcome to Youth Empowerment. Very well, we're giving our students voice. We're allowing them to tell their story, to create their own narrative, as opposed to talking for our students. Seventh grade is an interesting year. Students are just coming into themselves, so they are finding their identity as much as they're willing to share it. And so through this experience, we were able to learn painting. We were able to start talking about ourselves and acknowledging identity. You know, whether it's race, whether it's personal interest, whether it's family, uh, acknowledging the community that they're, they're a part of. And, uh, and really a celebration of who they are and the places that they come from. This year, the students wrote little poems about themselves. And as you go through and you look at the poems, you'll see, wow, it tells a lot in five lines. And we have 50 students, and we're in the gallery now, as opposed to in town hall. We have a lot more exposure for the kids, for the art program, and for the youth empowerment project. What I wrote DNF because he's one of my favorite streamers. And I wrote this because I saw it somewhere, like online somewhere. I saw it in English, and I, since I knew the language, I wanted to write it, making people wonder what it would be about. It says, if you were lucky enough to be born different, never change. We're very proud of her that she's uh, expanding, and we're trying to tell her find something that she's really into. So um, I guess she's exploring. So this is very good. We're very proud of her. Turning into her own, per her own personality is coming out. Today's kids tend to bottle up their feelings inside of them. And when we started this project, we were looking for a positive way for the kids to express who they are and what's about themselves. So we started it out with Mr. Crespo five years ago. We want to give the kids a professional experience of what it's like. And the kids do wonderful work. And it's interesting to see what they paint about themselves and what they're feelings are and they put it out there. To see this from our kids in our community is really, really neat and not only the artwork but the descriptions. When you actually view the paintings, you're seeing these kids as they're developing and some of their thinking, you know. Um, some of them are kind of dark and some of them are absolutely beautiful and it just probably was what kind of mood they're in that day because we all go through that and that's what art is and so they got a chance to express themselves and um, I'm just happy to be here and support it. We strive to educate the whole child, math, science, social studies, English, all very, very important, but equally important, the arts, right? All kinds of different activities that really enrich you know, the whole child that translates to a, you know, a rich, wonderful life later on. This is actually my first time visiting this space and I was, I was extremely impressed when I walked in. We have our, our kind of budding young artists on this side to share the space with accomplished local artists and you know, local authors as well. What an honor and, and hopefully we'll move from this side to that side at a certain point in their lives. For you know, students between the ages of like 10 and 12 to be inside of a gallery is sort of like a dream come true. You know, and something that will really build a foundation for them. I don't know that all these students are gonna go on to be an artist, but wow, what a way to start if they do wanna become so.